Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about filament storage bags. Now, for years, well, I shouldn't say years, but at least a year, I have been using these bags here from uh, Sealvac. I got them off of Amazon. And I've had one major problem with them. Here is another one that used to be, well, tried to seal it. And as you can see, not airtight, not airtight. Sometimes they were not airtight. You know, I couldn't get them to seal or like I'd come back an hour later and they were already getting loose. Sometimes it's a day later. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's a while later. This one's actually been sealed for probably almost close to a year. I just don't use PLA that much. Um, and it has this uh, little pump here that you can attach to your phone if you want to, or you can get it with the cord and that's all great. And I was happy with it when it worked, but it wasn't always working. So, um, when I was talking to the CEO of iBoss as I was doing the, um, the review for the Tetris, I saw that they had filament bags and I said, I, I just asked him, I was like, Hey, do you guys have problems with your filament bags? Um, and he's like, no, we actually use one of the, it's kind of a thicker bag. Um, and it works really well. Let me send you some. So I was like, Hey, great. Uh, so I want to put it to the test and I want to show you just how easy this is to use. Now, let me go over uh, a couple things. This is the Euros and uh, they sell this in a kit. You get 10 bags, you get the pump, little instruction manual. They give you some stickers here. You can put on the bag uh, so that you can mark what kind of filament is in there when you sealed it, if you want. And then you get this little USB pump uh, that is corded. It's got a USB-A connector on it and it's got an on off switch. So let me pop on over here to my AMS2. I've got a couple of filaments that I need to take out because I'm about to do a little test to finish up my H2D review and I need to print some PLA. So we are going to pull a couple of colors out of here. And we will get them in this Eurus storage bag system. So, first of all, you want to make sure that you take care of the ends because you don't want the ends to be poking out here where they could potentially puncture the bag. So, let me switch over to this camera, move this stuff out of the way. The Eurus bags, they all come, every one of the bags comes with this little clip that will help you get a good seal. Just ensures good pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this Ziploc bag. We're gonna throw in a spool of filament here. I'm gonna go ahead and center our little port, get the, back in the camera range. We'll go ahead and seal this up using the clip. The clip is removable, but like I said, each bag comes with a clip, so you can use that to ensure that you have a good seal. Once you've got the bag sealed, you've got this lid here, so we are going to go ahead and open up that cap. I'm going to attach, I got a little battery bank here, I'm going to plug in our pump, and then this is actually threaded, so it will thread right on there and make a good connection. Just for grins, we're going to see how long this takes. Start the clock, start the pump. that change in pitch there. Obviously the bag is pretty well void of air at this point. So we'll unscrew this. So minute 23, about a minute and 20 seconds. And then we're just going to screw that back on. And there you go. We have a very nice, you can see just like nice drum tight 
So really solid seal. So I got a bunch of filament here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, fill as many of these bags as I can. I'm not sure if I'll get all 10, but uh, we'll go ahead and seal up a bunch of filament and I'm just gonna let it sit and uh, see how these bags do. A few moments later. All right, we have nine of the 10 bags done. I've gotta finish up a print here and then I'll throw in the last one and then we'll come back in a little while and see how things go or how they went. All right, it has actually been two weeks since I vacuumed up those filaments in the Uris bags. So we are going to take the trusty Osmo Pocket 3 and we're gonna go over and check the drawers that I put the filament in and see what the state is. So follow me. There we go. So there's our first one. We'll throw that over on the table. And there's another one. And another one. That's three of them. Come down here. And I won't drag you through all of the unloading of the drawers, but uh, this is the first time I have looked at this particular bunch of filament since I vacuumed these all up and the first look is pretty good. So we'll get these all unloaded, put them back on the table and see how these bags performed. Okay, there you have it. We have the nine original spools that I vacuum sealed a while back and I am happy to report that all nine of those are still completely Airtight, they are sealed just as tight as when I sealed them two weeks ago. So that is already a much better success rate than I was having with the other brand of filament bag. Wow, I almost lost that one. Um, so that was that's so far better success than I have had with the last brand of filament storage bags that I used. Now. I am going to say, because I do believe in being completely honest and transparent when I do my reviews, so I had one bag, this ninth bag, I did try to use this and I was not able to get a good seal and I'm still not entirely sure why. I have two theories on what might have happened. Um, one is there is a, there's a spot right here, I don't know how well that's going to show up on the camera that I think what might have happened, and I'm gonna switch back cameras here, is, and this is gonna be a recommendation, if you use filament spools, you do need to be careful with the ends of your spools. And I think what might have happened is when I, when I ran this one, or this other bag that didn't work, when I ran my filament through this hole here, um, it was just kind of poking out like this. And so when I pulled the vacuum in, I think it may have pulled and uh, punctured the bag. I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely certain. Could have just, there could just be a bad seal on this bag. I mean, nobody's perfect. Um, but I just wanted to, uh, mention that. So of the 10 bags I received, I was able to get nine of them. I, again, I don't know if that is a, uh, problem with the bag or something that I did wrong. I would recommend personally, and what I'm going to do myself, if I can find another bag here that maybe I did a better job of. Um, if you've watched any of my must print items, I often will use filament clips. If you use the bamboo spools, this is a bamboo lab filament uh, clip. It goes on the inside here and it clips into these little holes but it's going to hold your filament right against the side. And then I have these other ones, and these are all just things that I've gotten off Maker World. These go on the spool, but again, they're gonna hold that filament nice and straight so you don't have any kind of jagged filament that might be running off to the side. Because, I mean, if you look at these things, when you pull that vacuum, you're putting a lot of pressure on this plastic. So if you have a sharp object in there, um, that could pop through the bag, it could happen. So um, 
thanks again to uh, Duran. Thank you for sending these to me so I could check them out. I am very happy. Um, real quick, let's take a look. All right, these are, this is the web page for these bags. So if you are interested, looks like kind of the starter kit with 10 bags and the pump is $38.99. You can get more bags if you are interested. Obviously the price goes up. Or if you already have the pump and you just need to get more bags, um, you can get 10 bags for $18.99. And uh, yeah, so that's not bad. Buck 89 for a bag. That is probably a lot cheaper than many other solutions that are out there. There you have it. Um, definitely, this wasn't, this was more of a, I mean, it's kind of a review, but it's also just kind of, you know, finding things that are out there. So, hey, um, I would definitely recommend if you are in the market for getting some ways to keep your filament dry if you don't already have a, a different solution then this is something that you may look into and i am happy that i have a bag system that is reliable that i can trust um, because i was getting sick and tired of never knowing um, what was going to happen with my other filament bag so there you go if you enjoyed this little review slash test slash whatever i don't know what it is um then please take a moment to hit the like button hit the notification bell and please subscribe uh to the channel we are getting really close to 5,000 subscribers which is kind of a first little milestone for me and then hopefully we can get to 10,000 and 20,000 and Maybe one day you'll see a YouTube plaque behind me. Who knows? Um, as always, I've enjoyed the time that we get to spend together here on the channel. And let's just keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.